Welcome to CRM Crew, my name is Nick and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be demonstrating how to add custom fields to your Zoho CRM system. So once you log into your Zoho CRM system, of course you'll come to the home screen. Now from here you want to go to the cog in the top right hand corner but do ensure you have administrative permissions. So press the cog and then from here we want to go <clears throat> to customization and then to modules and fields. Once we go to modules and fields, we'll then be presented with a list of all the modules inside of the Zoho CRM system. And we want to select the module that we would like to add um, new fields to. You, of course, can add new fields to any module. But in this instance, I'm just going to use our contacts module as an example. <clears throat> Once you go to your contacts module, you'll then come to the layout screen. Uh, from here, select the layout that you'd like to add the field to. Of course, as there's only one, I'm going to choose the standard. And once we go to the standard layout, we will then co come to the contact form. And on the contact form, we will see all of the fields uh, that um, are related to a contact record. Now, <clears throat> as you can see here, we've got create, quick create and detail view. And you can add these fields to any of these different forms. And I'll go over what these different forms are in the how to add a module uh, to a CR Zoho CRM system video. So feel free to give that a watch if you'd like. To add a new field, we have a number of we have a custom fields of 300. So we can add 300 custom fields to any module. Uh, obviously, that's a lot of custom fields, so it's unlikely that we'll use 300. And then, as you can see here, we've got a variety of different options for adding um, fields. Uh, as you can see, a lot of them are quite self-explanatory, such as email. You add the email, um, and it's a case of just dragging and dropping. You can then give it a name as you so wish. So this could be personal email, for example, as opposed to work email. And then once you've done so, this this um, this new field will then be added to the module. Now, if you go to the three dotted buttons on the right here, you can then change some of the permissions, edit the properties, and set it as mark as required. So mark as required means that um, if you set a particular field as mark as required, it has to be filled in before that record can be saved. So obviously the important information you would want to ensure that is uh, the fields are marked as required because otherwise you'd have people creating records that are completely useless and contain no relevant information. You can also set permissions. And I'll show you what this looks like. You can decide who is able to read, write, read only and don't show. So this could be really useful if you've got certain information you don't want um, and standard users to see for example so we can say don't show this field to our standard users but all administrators will be able to read and write or we can set it to read only or we can set it to don't show we can also press these buttons and then it will just automatically take you back to that one press cancel here and then I'll go to edit properties and I'll show you what you can do here this is a field label which is essentially the name of that new field required we've already discussed do not allow duplicate values, uh, whether you allow duplicate values or not. Uh, encrypt the field. You can choose to encrypt the field. Uh, if you don't want to, you don't have to tick that. And then show tool tip, which is essentially how to use the um, how to use the field. So you could just put put pers user or contact personal email. <clears throat> and that can be an info icon, so they can hover over that icon and it will tell them this. Or static text, and it will sit underneath. The, um, the field. Once we've done so, you press save or press done. For, sorry. Uh, and then, as you can see, we've got all these various other fields that we can add. And we've got users, um, multi select lookups, lookups. So, lookup look up fields are lookups to other record, uh, other modules, sorry. So, that's how you can create relationships between one module and another module. Checkboxes, percents. There, a lot of these are really obvious. Formulas is programming, URL, website, long integers, obviously numbers. I'm trying to see any others that might raise a query. File upload. File upload is um, up, essentially an opportunity to upload files to the contact record or any record using the field. But as I'm sure you know, on the detail view, you can attach um, you can attach record uh, you can attach files to records anyway. So once you've uh, had a play around and you've decided those are the new fields that you'd like to add to your mo module, all you need to do is press save. 
and the standard layout will be updated successfully. We'll then click out of here and I'm just going to head over to on contacts and I will press create contact and we'll be able to see personal email is now here and the contact personal email, the, uh, the information is there as well. So that is how to add new fields to modules inside of your Zoho CRM system. I hope this video has clearly explained how to create custom fields inside of your Zoho CRM system. Uh, if you do have any further questions, please drop me an email. My details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.